Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here, and today I'm going to be uh, doing a Blu-ray slash DVD collection update video. Man, has it been a while since I've done this. Here's one of the Blu-rays I got, I and most of these movies, I picked out both the Blu-rays and DVDs. I've never seen these films except for one, which I'll point out. This one never seen. Um, so yeah. And that's The Goonies on Blu-ray. I've never seen this movie, so... Yeah, I thought I'd give it a try, so... A lot of these actually, if I don't really give it a try, so. This next one, I actually got for a really good deal. In fact, three of these I got for really good deals, because if I were just to have got one of these Blu-rays at Walmart, uh, it would have been $20. And I got all of this stuff, all these movies for $10 at two pawn shops I visit, so. So, yeah. Um, so here's the next one, and that's The Avengers. This one was a really good, like, good deal, especially since, uh, at the pawn shop, it was brand new. It, it even had this RAM wrapping in it. So, it still includes the Blu-ray and DVD, so, yeah, I thought that was the score, so. I've never seen this one yet. Uh, I did saw Infinity War. That one was really good, like I mentioned in the review, but, um, yeah, I still need a while catching up on the MCU. I've only seen, like, six or seven of the films, um, out of the 22 movies, so, that's why I got this. So, that was The Avengers. Next up, speaking of MCU, Iron Man 2. Now, I only saw the first Iron Man movie, and that was way back when it came out in 2008. I saw that one in theaters. I remember liking it fine, so. Um, so, yeah, I haven't seen Iron Man 2 nor Iron Man 3, so. Yeah. That'll be interesting. I heard this one's, although not a horrible movie, but if people had to put, like, like ranking videos of all 22 movies that they would put this one as the worst one. So I guess I'll just have to see. So. And since we're still going with the MCU stuff, I got Captain America the Winter Soldier. Another movie I have uh, yet to see. I saw the first Captain America movie, uh, the first Avenger, in the theater, back when it came out as well, but I uh, haven't seen the other ones, so, yeah. Again, like I said, all these movies, except for one, I haven't seen, so, yeah. Uh, this one I haven't seen, I heard it was good. Um, although I heard there were quite a few people who were confused by this movie, but that's Christopher Nolan's Inception from 2011. So, I've never seen this one. Um, I've heard it's good. 
So I was like, because at the pawn shop where I got this at, they sell Blu-rays for three dollars. And I was like, why the hell not? So. The second to last Blu-ray I got is Prometheus. See, Prometheus, directed by Ridley Scott. Now I heard some like I heard some people didn't like this movie. Other people love this movie. Um, so I guess it's a 50-50 split on this one. Um, so yeah. So, I'd be interested in checking this one out, for sure. Now for the last Blu-ray, this is uh, one I actually have seen, and actually owned a DVD version of it, which I, yeah, again, got at a pawn shop, but I was like, on Blu-ray for three dollars, why not? Um, I may try to get the 4K version of this one these days, since it's like 14 bucks, so... Yeah, and that's the original Alien, which also includes, uh, like, it includes the 1979 theatrical version, as well as the 2003 director's cut. So, that's pretty cool. Now on to the DVDs. I only got a few DVDs, not much. I think I got something like four DVDs out of that. So all these movies I have not seen. So like I said, the only movie I have seen out this whole update was uh, Alien. So, so the first DVD here is Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, it's back. Yeah, a lot of people have been recommending me uh, the Indiana Jones movies, so it's like, for a dollar at the pawn shop, I was like, why not? So, now this is one I have not seen. I've seen its sequel, but I've never seen any of the other films, including the original, and that's, uh, well, this is practically a remake, but, and that's, uh, The Ring. Uh, the first American remake. I have not seen, I've only seen The Ring 2. I have not seen this one, nor Rings, or the original Japanese version, so... I've been told by people that I should watch this one, so. In fact, a lot of these movies I heard I should watch, so. The next one I got, it's a found footage movie, Cloverfield. I heard this one was okay. I heard the sequel, 10 Cloverfield Lane, was really good. The most recent one, Cloverfield Paradox, was crap, so. Cloverfield. Giant Godzilla-like monster tearing through the cities of New York. In found footage. Uh, produced by produced by J.J. Abrams. Directed by Matt like Matt Reeves. I'm like, okay, I might be on board with that one. And the last one I have not seen. I know some of you people who are really into film will probably kill me for this. For not seeing this. Um. And that's the very first Lord of the Rings movie, uh, Fellowship of the Ring. I've not seen any of the Lord of the Rings films. I only saw The Hobbit, A Unexpected Journey, and that's when it came out in theaters. I've only seen it that one time and have not seen it since. So, and I remember liking The Hobbit pretty well, so, so yeah, um, I might try to watch all, all these movies, maybe. So that's it for today, folks. Uh, that's it for today, folks. Uh, 
I actually got quite a few stuff there, actually, um, all of which cost me like ten dollars. Um, because most of that stuff, uh, my friend, uh, Josh actually paid for, and then I paid for the rest, so I only had to pay f for, um, I only had to pay ten dollars out that, and it was a total of twenty dollars, so, yeah, um, really good score, actually, um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, uh, this is Joshua Myers, and you're watching Blood Moon Production.